But for the pinky, I'm not only bending it this way, I also want to bend it like to the left a little bit. The same goes with the ring finger. So as you can see, they're kind of gathered towards the middle finger. You don't want to go into details right away because there's going to be a lot of adjustment later on. So I always like to squeeze it sideways and this way and then you will see some extra clay right here and you just want to snip it off roll it first and just wrap it around the wire like this the middle finger is a little bit wider compared to like these three of course like pinky is the smallest for me when i'm resting my hand my middle finger and ring finger are a little bit closer to each other push the ring finger a little bit closer when you're using the brush you can treat it like a sculpting tool and a little bit pressure sometimes i don't think i can sculpt without using a brush this dip right here between the ring finger and the pinky is the lowest the middle finger is the tallest so it goes like a mountain shape i think i mentioned this in the other hand sculpting tutorial the fold is going outwards like this in this direction and this one goes to the left the key is keep observing and fixing so looking at the palm of our hand thicker down below and it goes more flat i think you can see it better this way it's such an awkward pose so when you're sculpting the knuckles kind of keep in mind that they're more square shaped instead of like round knuckles are my favorite part to sculpt i feel like the middle finger is a little bit too flat so i'm just adding more clay on top right here give it more volume also when you're sculpting the knuckles make sure to turn it on the inside to see if it's lining up with like the fold you don't want to make it too sharp so i'm just rounding it out by tapping lightly for the inside we just want to focus on each little padding on our fingers so the more you bend it the more volume it has does it make sense the key is not making them all the same width and they're all parallel to each other but if this one goes up this one goes down add a tiny bit in the middle and then add another little curve down here just play around a little bit you'd want to make the nails too big i think the perfect size is when you look at it from the top you can still see a little bit of the finger on the side i'm just applying more pressure at the bottom and then just kind of brush it like this using this clay shaper i also sanded the fingernails a little bit because they were too thick you want to check it from the top sometimes we rely on our sculpting tool a lot but i do feel like our fingers are the best sculpting tool the middle knuckle needs to be higher than these two i made them on the same level which is a little inaccurate proportionally speaking grab a little tiny strip of clay and just wrap it around the fingernail add more clay for the knuckle area you don't want to blend the top leave this area and then i'm gonna grab this type of clay shaper and you can just push it down to shape